gone. Absolutely. What up, what up? We're here with the Baseball Bat Bros. And today, folks, we have the new Stinger Missile 2 BB Core. Let's get it. All right, folks, we have a new BB Core from Stinger, the Missile 2. So if you guys remember, they actually came out with a missile last year in 2021 as well, and it just was not hitting for us, guys. First of all, it was supposed to be their lighter swinging version of the Nuke. Uh, first of all, it was very heavy. It was actually a pretty end loaded bat. We did not find that it was very balanced. It's actually not as much lighter as I thought it would be. It's lighter, but not like a ton. Yeah, this is definitely lighter still. And then two, the knob was kind of a really bulbous, round, clunky uh, attempt to make a 271 knob and just that honestly kind of ruined the bat for us. We were not a big fan. However, this is a very, very different bat. First of all, nice little uh, army green look there. Second of all, this might be the single lightest swinging bat in the BB Core market. This thing's an absolute toothpick. And we have uh, just a good traditional tapered handle and knob here, very similar to the Stinger Nuke. And this is also gonna be a pretty good affordable one piece alloy, I believe at $270. So with how our last review went with the Stinger Nuke 2, just freaking taking down the good Goods, uh, I am very excited for the potential that the Missile 2 could bring. So we are bringing out the big guns, the Missile 2 versus the Demarini Voodoo 1, our favorite balance bat on the market. We even crowned it the best overall BB Core bat of 2021. So we got a showdown for the ages here, folks. Could go really well, could go really bad. Let's get it. All right, folks, we are out here on the crazy field. It's a thousand feet to left center in normal dimensions, pretty much everywhere else. So uh, we'll track how far these balls are going. No chance I get a ball out to left. Zach has done it once ever. So, so we'll see folks. We have the 3330 Stinger Missile 2. We'll take some swings with the Voodoo 1 at the end. We will also do exit velo testing. Let's get it. Beautiful swing. Alright, smoke that first swing of the day. Your first swing. Pretty good. A little bit off the end, maybe. Yeah. Man, that's that's out in a lot of fields. I mean, that looks pretty smart, yeah. that looks pretty pathetic here. Okay, that Dude, looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, it's light. It's light. It's like Velo Solo Voodoo One Vandal Territory. Good job. This is a balanced, balanced bat. That and I, I barreled that hard. That's a good sound, bro. Yeah. Oh, ball's just jacked. 350, 50 feet in front of the fence. <laughs> that was hands. Yeah. Did that hurt much? No. I know. I was kind of. I, was yeah, actually I thought it was going to hurt more. Dude, it feels really good. Yeah. Okay, for how light this is, like, there's actually some barrel. And it has, like, a tiny bit of flex to it almost, kind of like it the looks voodoo. A whippy when you're yeah, it's too. whippy, dude. And it's not killing my hands. Like, I'm finding barrel pretty good. Oh. That's hammered right into the 400. Dude, that, that ball's smoked. Smoked. See, my thing with this is I feel like I can, like, I mean, it is like a rubber band almost. So that speed is just Dude, nuts. it's nuts. Yeah. Like, if you had, you were facing someone firm. Yeah. Dude, 100%. Swings like a whiffle ball. Yeah. It feels kind of, like, it reminds me of the Voodoo 1 more than any other bat right now, honestly, guys. Just the fact alone that you have a bat that's super balanced um, and going to be really durable for... 270 bucks. I mean, there's not a lot of bats that have that. Most bats with this kind of swing weight are 350 plus right now. It's so light. It's so light. Dude, you're whipping it. Right? Dude, like the swing weight's almost like drop five esque. <laughs> oh, I feel like I absolutely got come that. On. Oh, I got it. That, I mean, that, that's pretty far. I got That's the best ball I've hit with this. That ball's touched. Yeah. Gone. Absolutely. Bye. Bye. See ya. Oh yeah. See that dude when you square it up too. Yeah, I'm jumps. I like this bro. It kind of jumps. jumps. That's 
Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm like, getting barrel on everything. everything. Yeah. I might not be hitting jacks every swing, but I'm getting barrel on just about everything. Yeah, that's hammered, dude. It's so depressing because you hit a ball like that. It should be out. That's out of freaking Camden Yards. Literally. I don't think so. Oh! Hey, that, that's decent juice, man. I'll take it. Uh, the barrel's way more forgiving than I expected. Uh, if anything, I expected this to be more like the solo where there's one just super juice spot and then everything else just kills your hands. It was actually a little bit flexible and pretty forgiving down towards the hands and stuff. So uh, let's try the Voodoo 1. And we're, we're, we're keeping the uh, Bat Bro Goat sticker on there. Best BB Cora 2021. Yeah, the swing weight's right there. Swing weight's right there. Wow, they do feel really similar. Yeah, the weighting's the same, That's dude. crazy. This is hotter. You think so? Yeah. You think in Exit Evo, the Voodoo one will win? Oh, 100%. All right, wow, okay. Yeah. Dude, I swear to God, they feel like pretty similar, man. I don't know how to describe it. This feels more bouncy. Yeah, so like, when I, I barrel right. this, I like the feeling of that better. That's still a good feeling. Yeah. I just, it's a, it's a preference thing. And especially when you get it a little bit out towards the end with that, yes. you feel like, boing, yes, like you know, it kind of just like yes. launches the ball. Yes, dude, it's yes. Oh, man. Dude, the missile's as forgiving as this, 100%. Oh, boy. God, just nowhere here. Yeah, that dude. Feels... Ooh that pretty good do they like they feel so similar that's one of the closest feeling bats like just on field to the voodoo one that i've swung in a minute well. see that was more off the end yeah it launches off the dude. end dude oh that was touched <laughs> dang it I hate this field, bro. Ball tilt. So, you think the voodoo is going to be hotter? Oh, I do. All right, all right. Swingability? This. If you're thinking about, like, okay, am I going to be able to control the barrel throughout <laughs> all parts of the zone? I this. think it's. I think the missile's even lighter. It, it is. is. It's I, lighter. I didn't even think I'd ever find a bat as light as the voodoo. It's that's, lighter. That's one of the lightest bats I've ever swung. That's even lighter. This is lighter. That, like, pushes the boundaries of what drop three even. Oh, 100%. Leaves. Yeah. 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 They're both just toothpicks, man. And just electric when you barrel it up. Okay, one more with the missile, and I am so excited for exit velo testing. This could be big, folks. I mean, that's like a laser beam, dude. Yeah. Knock. Look at you, bro. Doubles. I'll text you immediately when I get the exit velo results, because I think it'll be close, but I agree. I think the Voodoo... What do you mean by close? What do you think is close? Like, I think the max exit velo will be within 1.5 miles an hour. Like, that's, that's hands, and that ball's crushed. Dude, exit velo testing is going to be a freaking showdown, man. I'm excited. Honestly, I'm just so used to, like... I, dude, it, I thought you swung that better. No. I, I hit better with it. And maybe it's just like I was warming up that and I got used to it, but dude, usually like when I'm swinging a bat against the Voodoo One, 99 out of 100 times, oh, yeah. I pick up the Voodoo One and I'm like, oh yeah, it's uh, this bat can't hang with the Voodoo One. But like I was actually torn right there. That's crazy. Right. All right, folks, we have a monumental exit velo test here. We are hoping that if this goes well, uh, this is going to be the new official budget Voodoo One. The Stinger Nuke has already proved itself to be the budget goods. We just need a budget Voodoo One because this thing is impossible to find. Apparently it's breaking on a lot of guys. Uh, and it's now $350, $270, so uh, we'll see. Zach and I do kind of think 
the Voodoo one will win, but we'll see, folks. I think this might be even lighter. So uh, we're on the hit tracks here today at PDX Eastside Training at the Cleveland Guardians Field. Let's get it. Okay, uh, we are going to start with the missile, and we're just going to go back and forth here. A little old-fashioned swing off. Pretty good start, 96.4. That was in towards the hands a bit. Uh, I will say it again, I'm surprised by how little this rings the hands. It's just insane how light it is, dude. I think that was 96.4 literally again. All right, nice. Dude, I'm killing with this bat. 98.3, that was pretty good barrel. Oh, I killed that ball. 101.2, man. Holy smokes. And that thing is an absolute twig. <laughs> Stinger, good job, man. Just two awesome freaking bats. That's crazy. All right, Voodoo one time. 101.2 is the score to beat. Uh, oh, man, Zach, we might be wrong, bro. That's crazy. We have hit 102.7 with this before, so we'll see. 7-3, bottom of the zone too. Get on the hands a little bit, 97. Ball's going far though, 393, damn. 98.3. All right, one more and we'll switch back. And a little bit, 97-7 though. That's still really, really good. 98 flat. Wow, I thought that would have been a little bit better. Round one goes to the missile. All right, let's do a few more swings. This is even lighter than the Voodoo one. Hands a little bit, 96. Dude, I feel really good with this bat. Like, I just, it's so easy to swing, man. Holy smokes. I can't believe this is hanging with the Voodoo one right now. It feels like the Voodoo. It, it, it's, it's literally a budget Voodoo one, guys. Oh my gosh, that is so sick. Oh, moving, dude. Out in front for 98.8. That's insane. Off the hand, dude, I'm just hitting so well with it. Like, it's been a week since we filmed that outside video. I've hit with a whole bunch of other bats since then, and I'm still just swinging this better than the Voodoo. And I know it went the same freaking way with the goods and the, and the Stinger Nuke, and you guys are gonna think I'm being paid off by Stinger, but I swear to you, I'm not. I, I, like, I, I'm trying to be completely honest. Stinger is just coming out with really, really freaking good bats. I'm blown away right now. This is nuts. All right, we're gonna give the Voodoo another shot though. 101.2 is our high to beat here. I think it can do it. I'm just like, I'm hitting the barrel more consistently with the missile. Oh, that's launched, 97.1. I will formally say the Stinger missile is the closest bat I've ever swung in BB Core to the D-Marini Voodoo one. And that's, that's gonna be enough news for a lot of people to go buy that bat. 99.4, that ball's launched. 393. 99.9. 100.8. There's, <laughs> they're, they're so similar. Let's get one more perfect perfect with each of these bats here. with the hit tracks. That's insane. These are the only two bats in all of BB Core that I've hit 103 with, ever. The nuke and the missile. And everyone's gonna accuse me of being freaking sponsored by Stinger now, which sucks, because I'm not. I'm being so honest with you guys. Holy crap. All right, that's so weird. Okay, one more perfect perfect with the Voodoo. Like, I, I actually expect the Voodoo can match the missile here. But just the, like, this bat is impossible to find and there's a cheaper version of it. 
Like, I, I don't think anyone's going to disagree with me. They feel the same. 101.6, last chance. if you want to balance that. <laughs> oh my god. All right. I do think we need to make little adjustments to the bat bro scale for this, and we need to create a new one for the missile. Oh my gosh, dude. I, I think a lot of people are going to think like, oh, Will, you're just, you're just getting good at hitting. And I, I haven't been like lifting dude yet. I've just been like... Editing videos, sitting around, house hunting, house hunting, watching Book of Boba Fett on Disney Plus. All right, folks, there you have it. Just an incredible showing from both bats. I can officially say, guys, uh, now introducing the new budget Voodoo One, the Stinger missile, the next closest thing to the Voodoo One, honestly, that I've found. I've been trying to find bats like that forever. The Bone Saber was sort of close. The Solo was sort of close. The Vandal was probably the next closest thing I've found. The Voodoo two-piece was sort of close, but this missile is nearly identical, guys. If anything, I feel like the Voodoo one has a tiny bit more thump, especially out towards the end of the bat. And it's a tiny, tiny bit heavier even, which is crazy. I didn't think I'd ever really find a bat lighter than the Voodoo one, but the missile is there. So I think we need to adjust the bat row scale for this. Right now, we are at 698. I'm going to change it to six. 10, seven. So still a 23 overall and guys, 103.8 miles an hour. I think we got to respect the Voodoo one and keep it in the number one spot because of that. And then this I think is going to take on what was the bat row scale of the Voodoo one. So a six, nine, eight. I think this is, this might be the single lightest bat in the BB core space guys. So, um, as far as where to rank it, like it, it just basically showed it's the Voodoo one junior. Maybe top three, man. I don't know. That's, I'll do some more thinking about it. But at the very least, guys, uh, we have a whole new look in the BB Core game now. Between these three bats right here, guys, I think you have a bat that's absolutely incredible for every type of hitter in BB Core. These are all going to be super durable. They're all going to be 270 bucks or less. We have 270. There's older versions for like 200. We have 160 with the String King Metal 2 and then 270 with the Missile 2. I will say last year's Missile is gonna be really cheap, but it is nothing like this Missile 2. It's very different. The original Missile was accidentally very end loaded. So, um, but these three bats guys, you have your power hitting end loaded bat for guys that like a lot more barrel weight and wanna hit home runs. You have your super light toothpick bat for people looking to catch up to faster pitching and want to still hit the ball pretty hard, really voodoo one-esque. And then you have kind of a middle of the road bat that's super affordable that could kind of work for kind of any type of hitter in my opinion with the String King Metal 2. So as an advisor, I don't think anyone really needs to spend more than 270 bucks in BB Core right now. You can, and what you're going to be paying for is just a little bit better feel potentially a bit more forgiving barrel. And then like maybe if you want a composite bat, you can combine a light swing weight with a forgiving barrel, but you're gonna sacrifice a lot of exit velo. So guys, like in my opinion, I think these three types of bats are gonna freaking get it done for you in BB Core and you don't have to spend north of 300 bucks. So uh, I think this is where BB Core needs to go. I think the composite bats have been pretty misleading for a while now. Um, and I think this shows that the BB Core design and the BB Core standard really does not need to be that complicated. You just need a hot bat with a decently forgiving barrel that has a weighting that fits your style of swing. And I think one of these three bats are gonna fit just about anyone. So there you guys have it, crazy freaking shakeup. The top 10 is gonna look very, very different. It, it's really cool to see some competition kind of forced into the market that's gonna drive some of these prices down. I think that's big time. Some of these prices are getting out of control for bats that aren't really even that good, honestly. So. Uh, there you have it, folks. Uh, head over to baseballbatbros.com to always stay up to date on our top 10 rankings. We also have all of our composite and alloy U-trip rankings over there as well. You can also cop some of our merch if you want to help support the Bat Bros. And if you guys like this video, if it helped you out, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out.